want you just where I want you. There you are. Oh, you guys are going down. Excuse me, I was wondering about this sword. Hang on, can't you see I'm on the fucking phone? Matias. Yes, hello, operator. I need the number for the Schlang Corporation. Some information they're gonna wanna hear. Data no, I don't want customer service, you stupid bitch! You're coming through the headquarters! God damn it! He hello? She hung up. Great, she hung up. Almost one year to the day. Ah, oh, so close. We kicked off our mercenary's journey backwards with Mercs 2, the better looking one. A hilarious journey that led to many a mercenary memory. Twelve years later. Then after feverish work and protests in the streets, I was able to resurrect the original Playground of Destruction and enjoy the fruits of its ever-aging greatness. Fifteen years later. A marvelous game. I would like to get this mark out of here before one of those GSRN reporters shows up. And yet, a version exists, unexplored. A twelve-year-old delicacy with all the hallmarks of the original thing. A version stuck 15 years in the past, but... This is nuts. Carbon dated to only 12. A game that feels old. Oh, more. But really isn't. Oh. I'm talking about Mercenaries 2 PS2. For PlayStation. Since we've been down this road before, let's just go with something a bit more flashy. And narratively fun. Welcome to part one of Mercenaries 2. Solano's Revenge. PlayStation 2 version. Starting things off, choosing Mateus, as if there was any doubt, and staring at perhaps the ugliest loading screen ever, we arrived once again at Solano's luxurious mansion. I could smell this shithole from a mile away. Meeting up with Blanco, that treacherous ass clown that broke my heart. Good to see you again. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? Fooling anyone anymore. I remember seeing your big ass as you ran away. Heading inside, Solano makes his prom entrance. Matthias, this is Ramon Solano. Kiss me out of the bearded barley. How beautiful. Mr. Solano. What's the contract? But with no time for introductions, we were strictly down to business, tasked with freeing General Carmona from imprisonment. By his own men. A small faction in Carmona's army objected. They captured him and are holding him prisoner. Right. Military coup, my ass. No! That's it. Will you accept the contract? Sure. I'll take your money. Blasting out of there like thunder in paradise, Fiona joins the party. Welcome to Venezuela. Oh, how I've missed you. Interrupting me. I can see you. Can I just head into battle in silence? I'm working off a laptop. Matthias, how do you feel about India? The first thing you need to do is get to shore. Arriving shoreside, I adjusted my vision. Because, holy shit, this is weird. My eyes have to get used to what I'm looking at. But I'm in. Charge again, I began my sweep of the area. Heading further up the road. Soon discovering our first tank threat. I made my way around and went in for the steal. Almost forgetting about the button prompts. Okay, good. Obtaining our new machine of death, we muzzle blasted our way to Carmona. Goodbye. Well, would you look at that? Carmona is now safe. For now. Again. Take that HVT off your hands. And Solano was so happy with our job, he offered another. The job is your What? No. Damn good deal. This is literally a thousand times more frustrating when you, like, already know what's gonna happen. I smelled this shit on the way in, people. You guys suck! Like, what is the point of rescuing your general from himself if you're just gonna kill me in the same room I was just in 20 minutes ago? Hey, wouldn't it be hysterical if, before we killed him, we sent him on a pointless errand? <laughs> with my ass on the line, I made my parting peace with Blanco. There! And dove off into the loving embrace of destiny. No! And revenge. You 
dick. Again, everybody pays. Faring my ass back to Solano slash soon to be mine mansion. Yeah, apparently I swam all the way across only to boat my way back. Like, why? <laughs> so far, this game is exceeding my expectations. Round of applause, people. This is awesome! This is awesome! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Arriving dockside, I stormed the mansion, tasked with securing a few trucks and clearing out the VZ groups. Stop those trucks from leaving the ground. Whatever they're carrying, it's probably worth keeping. It's amazing to me how much this feels like the original with a new coat of paint. Thank you all for the recommendation. This is amazing. Like a dream come true. This version is truly a sight to behold. So far. Anyway, mowing down the VZ resistance groups, I was sent in after the commanding officer. Ooh. You tried to run me over. Oh, sweet trauma. Making lemons out of lemonade, I stole their ride, charging the mansion. Actually, I took it a bit too far and overshot the objective. He's above us. Get him. With the mansion now under our control, it was time to hunt down our prey and get revenge, starting with Blanco. <laughs> I couldn't find a car, and this led to bad decisions and results. Zigzag, don't fail me! Locating an appropriate vehicle, I sought out Universal Petroleum, knowing that this lady's connections would lead us to Blanco. I was gonna have to put on the charm. Put out the vibe. Sounds like you got a problem. Getting down to business, we were tasked with babysitting, basically. I had to protect some executive while he burned some sensitive documents. I've got several bundles to lug out there. I'd better be getting hazard pay for this. Why here? Why that particular fire? Why not blow them up? Be careful. Why one at a time? No idea. There's two boxes left. This guy was like the worst. One okay. shot and he gives up. One. No, me. damn it. Go back. One box left. Not long now. I'm hit. <sighs> Why? <laughs> this was dumb, but fun. Hey, you awake out there? I'm waiting for you at the office. The exec is waiting for you back at the office. You should probably go get it. Ever hit yourself with your own car? <laughs> Always. Anywho, Mr. Executive finally gets done breaking the laws of manhood, All done. and we could finally be on our way. We just the exec oh my God! I like, barely hit that thing. <laughs> we just the exec. This is crap right here. Okay. Uh, pile of poo is this, and I have to do it all over again. Mount up, boys. Time for round dose. This time, with a little help, I was able to speed up the process, eventually stealing a helicopter and allowing us to return the executive in his usual lap of luxury. Your chariot, milady. But what's this? They fucking bail on the deal and can't give Blanco? We've had a development on that front. Because I don't have helicopter support. In order to get him back, you'll need helicopter support. Do you have it? I arrived in one. Not yet. I'll come back when I do. Hey, Matthias, where'd you get those tats, man? They're badass! <laughs> With no time to waste, we were off to find a pilot. Besides me. A good thing for us, Fiona found it. I found a helicopter pilot. That fast. Regardless of that, this voyage took a bit. Eventually locating him in the woods, near a VZ camp. Conveniently stranded. And in need of help. Interested? Joining forces, we made our way through, off, and in the jungle. Returning to his damaged helicopter, where collecting boxes is the name of the game. Everything on this bird uses US measurements, but all me tools are metric. Pain in the arse. While he fixes it. Fun. Okay, now this is fun. Yes. Yes. That's right, with the helicopter up and running, and all the boxes collected, okay, got it. Huey and I made our incredibly slow, explosive escape. Keep those away from my bird, 
Speed it up. Let's go faster. Or higher. Either one. So many rocket assholes. Is this normal for you? Yes, it is actually. Finally limping back home. Sweet, sweet home. Ewan meets Fiona, who forgets what the fuck we're doing. And you are? Don't shoot him yet. We need a helicopter pilot. That's me, miss. Have you ever flown in a war zone before? <laughs> well, not intentionally. You found him in the woods, but you don't know if he's flown in a war? Then why should we bring you on? Ah! You're the worst! <laughs> well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed part one of Mercenaries 2, Solano's Revenge, the PlayStation 2 one. Guys, I'm gonna drop the moniker, so don't get confused next time. Okay? As if the graphics aren't hint enough. This is the PlayStation 2 series. Remember. Anyways, I can't describe how amazing this game is so far. It's almost surreal how similar it is to the original, and it makes me love it that much more. Thank you guys again for this recommendation and the support for Mercs and this channel in general. It's safe to say I probably would never have played this if it wasn't for you guys. So, seriously, thank you. You have shown me the light. Now journey along with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for part two, where Blanco's grenade magic hopefully won't have the same effect. And as always, thanks for watching.